The Waterfall's Gift from Joanne Ryder and Richard Jesse Watson. The Waterfall's Gift. When my grandpa was young, he built a small cabin in the woods. Whenever I think of him, he's there, walking under the tall trees, gently turning over logs and leaves to see what's hidden underneath. The old north woods hides treasure in its deepest places, he always told me. It still does, even though he's gone. So when the days get long and hot, my family journeys northward, each of us treasure seekers, filling the car, singing old songs. Tucked between boxes and grandma, I watch the hawks circling slowly over the hills, over tall trees, as we ride the smooth, dark path, taking us to the old north woods once more. The road curves this way and that way till around the last curve, we see the small brown house waiting for us to find it again. Mama boosts the windows wide and we push outside the thick, strong smell of winter. I write my name in dust and blow it all away, except the last two letters. By fall, new dust will fill the spaces. I hear laughter in grandma's room and follow. Look, she says softly, as a baby mouse runs and runs in, a cir in circles like a toy. Quietly, we watch it. So tiny, it slips behind the curtains, never moving them, as it finds a small, safe hole. We share the cabin with the small ones who share the woods with us. And now, the woods are calling me. I'm off, I shout as the others begin exploring old closets and drawers. Nobody asks me where I'm going, but Mama finds my warmest sweater. It'll be cold out there yet, she says. Greenness stretches across my trail, but thin leafy arms can't hold me back. I run on through making up new paths. At a bright, clear spot, I find Mama sitting rock. Green, too. My fingers brush the furry moss around me, so new, no one has felt its softness yet. I dangle my toes above the stream, guessing if the water is still too, too cold. I know it is, but dip my toes in anyway. Brrr, I rub them pink and warm again. All around me there are walls red with berries, and I pluck one and one and one till the black bear inside me roars. More! Give me more! So I eat a pawful, eat them all. Well, not quite all. I save some for Papa, who likes these berries best. <laughs> Far above me there are cliffs of dark, wet rock that almost touch the sky. From these cliffs, the water leaps downward, tumbling and foaming, to melt into the wide green pool below. I listen, and my waterfall says now what it always says. Now, 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 now. I walk around the deep pool, Grandpa's special place, where he knew how to find the safe path, the steady rocks to climb. I remember and I find my way around. And just like Grandpa showed me, I find a smooth white stone and throw it hard and sure till it skims and skips and skips across the moving water, skipping farther than I've ever thrown before. Sinking closer to the waterfall, one perfect stone cast back, one tiny treasure as my gift. Then I climb the warm rocks sprinkled with sunlight, finding my own sitting place. I close my eyes and wait and wish, my summer's wish, until I hear the sound of small wet paws squeaking and feel someone has found me. <laughs> and she has! A small wet one, fat like a puppy, watches me watching her and lifts her sleek brown head above the grass to get a better look. I wonder what she thinks I am. I think she is an otter. And when she's seen enough of me, she slides into the pool to play, 
She dives, then pops in up in some unexpected spot, turning to check if I'm still watching her. Maybe, some warmer day, she'll let me swim with her. I slide from my rock, following her bubbly path till she disappears downstream, and wishing her well, I whisper, goodbye. As the sun hides in the trees, I find the trail. Yet, for the longest time, the waterfall stays with me, roaring, until I reach the old dead tree and know I somewhere stepped across an unseen line and cannot hear the water's call. From here on in, I only feel the call of home. I tiptoe past the hammock with Grandma sunk inside, but she's not sleeping. Doesn't that look like a swan, she asks, pointing and sharing her sky with me. More like a dragon, I say, and I stretch out on the grass beside her. I saw an otter at the fall, Grandma, and I hear her draw her breath and say, An otter? Oh, you're lucky. I haven't seen an otter in a long, long time. And I do feel lucky, letting the clouds roll by above me and feeling summer begin in the old north woods. The end.